guys, Angus here, bringing another Airsoft video for you guys today. It's been a while since I've been in this old studio of mine, being that we've been making the videos outside a lot more often now. So uh, being in here, I can certainly tell it is certainly time for some spring cleaning and definitely need to clean this room out a little bit, but not the point of the video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing slash teaser video. Haven't done one of these in a while because it's just been so busy with uh, videos piling up and such that just didn't have the chance to take the time to post a video of my first impression of some items. But uh, obviously that's changing today with this video. Now this order I actually received yesterday, Wednesday from airsoftstation.com and it's three products here for me to review for them. Reason I didn't post a video yesterday is because I got home rather late, just didn't have time to upload the video, get everything done. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. First obvious and largest piece is a piece of gear. This is the Condor Modular Operator Plate Carrier. Uh, this obviously being in multicam. In case you didn't know, Airsoft Station has recently started stocking Condor tactical gear. So if you're looking for some vests or some pouches, Airsoft Station does now carry that stuff. So be sure to check them out. They do, of course, have the plate carriers. I believe the only one I saw on there as of now is the multicam one. Being that it's multicam, it is more expensive. Runs you around $110, but certainly a nice plate carrier. Tried it on a few moments ago. It's uh, rather comfortable, nice material on it. I imagine with these plate carriers, the weight's a lot evenly distributed on you. I normally run chest rigs, so I couldn't exactly tell you, but I actually really, really do look forward to testing this thing out in perhaps a game or something, because I've considered buying a plate carrier for myself before, and uh, this one certainly is nice. Covered in molly, of course. No pouches are included. You do have to purchase those separately, but with all the molly, you can really deck this thing out, make it look uh, as nice as you want it, and really set it up for your own personal loadout. So $110 at airsoftstation.com, you got the MOPC. Next item we have here is a pistol. I generally don't like pistols, but this one's kind of unusual, something I don't always review, so it's a little bit nice. This is the Sig Sauer SP2022, or 2022, whatever you want to call it. It's a non-blowback CO2 pistol. This will run you about $60 on airsoftstation.com. It's actually made by KWC, but licensed through Cybergun, so you get the Sig Sauer, the Swiss Arms stuff on there. Comes in a bright colored box that tells me it's shooting 394 FPS, so probably 320, 300 FPS with point twos. Pop open the box top. Inside, we've got your typical Cybergun manual. Tells you a little bit about the gun. Palco Sports warranty card, in case your gun breaks. Uh, large Allen key means that this gun has a seal to hold the CO2 in. Don't very much care for that, but what am I going to do? Uh, also in here is just that standard little pack of 0.2 gram BBs by Cybergun. And of course, the pistol itself. Uh, the pistol is actually pretty cool. As I mentioned, it's non-blowback, so the slide doesn't come back, but the hammer does, which is kind of cool. Powered by CO2, these non-blowbacks uh, most of the time shoot a little bit harder than your GBBs, and they also work a little bit better in colder climates. This one's got a cool tactical rail up front, so you can mount an accessory or something on there. Uh, I believe it has a 15-round metal magazine. This is where your CO2 is housed. The pistol frame itself is composed of plastic, However, the metal slide is, of course, metal, as I just stated in that statement there. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice pistol. It's got a pretty cool feel to it. Uh, nice thing also about non-blowback is that the recoil doesn't mess up your shot each time because just the hammer coming back as opposed to the whole slide. So 60 bucks uh, appears to be a pretty solid pistol, but we'll have to take a further look at that in some videos coming up this week. So let's package this thing back up organize it a little, little bit better in a second and the main gun here that i'm actually super excited to get i believe airsoft station is actually the first people to have them in stock in the united states this is the king arms blazer r93 bolt action sniper rifle this is a unique looking rifle i first saw it overseas and was like i gotta get one of these when they come to the united states so I asked for one uh, to review as I just dropped the box there. Naturally, it comes in that King Arms style box. Red Express, and this is the King Arms rifle. Remove the box top. Set it off to the side to get a thin sheet of black styrofoam to keep everything in. And then you have the gun packaged rather well underneath, which I'll show you just after I get to this paperwork. We've got your... Uh, 
just your cyber gun tells you how to clean it and do all that different stuff as king arms and cyber gun kind of work pretty closely together then you have the actual manual for the gun and then of course you have everything else which the gun it does come disassembled so I'm sorry I'm not going to show you it assembled you'll have to wait till tomorrow when we start posting the videos to actually see this gun but certainly does look rather nice in its box I really can't wait to actually put it together get to hold it I'll definitely post up a couple pictures on my Facebook page Death Gray Airsoft YouTube link in the description so you guys can see it assembled uh, other things inside here would just of course be the two pieces to the gun uh, appears to be a magazine. Not exactly sure how much this holds. I'm imagining somewhere in the 20-25 round area. Get a couple screws to hold the weapon together. An Allen key to put it together. And a speed loader with that special tip to make the magazine loading a lot easier. So definitely psyched that I got this gun. Really can't wait to put it together. Post some videos for you guys. We are going to be doing the videos on the sniper rifle first followed of course by the pistol and then the plate carrier. So with that being said guys, just been a quick unboxing slash teaser. Look forward to the videos on this super cool stuff uh, upcoming this week and after Easter. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe.